To ensure you don't miss a single Hardware Unbox video, hit subscribe, then tap the bell. Welcome back to Hardware Unbox. Last month, Intel completed their rollout of eighth generation core processors for laptops, introducing Coffee Lake H series parts, such as the Core i7-8750H. At the time, we saw lots of new laptops hit the market for both productivity-oriented users and gamers. So I think it's about time I deliver my picks for the top five best gaming laptops you can buy right now. In this video, we'll be splitting things up into five categories, covering high-end gaming laptops, more budget-friendly devices, as well as the best Ultrabook that can double up as a gaming machine. That's enough introduction, let's get straight into the picks. We're kicking things off here with our personal favorite category of gaming laptops, portable designs with tons of power. I've already reviewed a handful of these devices on the channel over the last few years, but a few stand out that come loaded with the latest Core i7-8750H from Intel. The best of the bunch so far is the MSI G65 Stealth Thin. We were always a fan of MSI's previous thin gaming laptop in the GS63, but the GS65 is an improvement in every way. It has slimmer bezels surrounding a faster 144Hz 1080p display, and that helps shrink the entire footprint of the laptop. It's still very thin and light for this class of device, and the new design with gold highlights looks better than ever. It certainly is MSI's most refined laptop build yet. As for gaming performance, the GS65 comes with two GPU options, a GTX 1060 or GTX 1070 Max-Q. Either option is a sound choice at their respective price points, though the GTX 1070 Max-Q model is better suited to gaming on the 1080p high refresh display and gives you more power in the same form factor. Other features like 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD are standard for this laptop and its competitors. We opted for the GS65 over competing laptops from Gigabyte and ASUS for a couple of reasons. The GS65 is quieter than the similar Gigabyte Aero 15X during gaming, and the build quality is superior, with both laptops coming in around the same price. It was a tough choice between the GS65 and ASUS ROG Zephyrus MGM501. The Zephyrus is more powerful with a full GTX 1070 inside rather than the Max-Q variant, but it's also louder, hotter, and more expensive as a result. The GS65 has a larger battery and lasts longer too, and that's important for a gaming laptop. Either the GS65 or the Zephyrus would be our pick depending on what you're after, but if we had to choose just one, the more well-rounded GS65 gets our vote in this category. If you have about $1,000 to spend, there is one clear standout option, the Acer Predator Helios 300. Often available for a touch over $1,000 through Amazon, the Helios 300 provides the best set of hardware you can get at this price point, combining the Intel Core i7-7700HQ with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1066 GB. It makes a great system for 1080p gaming without breaking the bank. Most other laptops available around the $1,000 price point opt for the GTX 1060 3GB instead, which does pack lower performance than the full 6GB variant in the Helios. You're also still getting 16 gig of RAM and an SSD boot drive, which are very important to deliver a good gaming experience. Sure, it doesn't pack the latest i7-8750H, but you won't find that CPU in any well-priced budget laptops just yet. The only way you'll find a cheaper laptop with the GTX 1066GB inside is if you opt for the i5-7300HQ instead of the i7-7700HQ in something like the Dell Inspiron 7577. But the extra CPU power of the Core i7 and more SSD storage space makes the Helios 300 a no-brainer for just 100 bucks more. The only major downside to the Helios 300 is its mediocre display that can't reproduce the full sRGB spectrum, which is something we criticised in our review of the laptop. But I'd take that downside knowing that inside the laptop is the best hardware available at that price point. The Helios 300 we mentioned before is a great budget buy, but if you want the best bang for your buck, you should look no further than the ASUS GL502VS. Available for as low as $1,480, but more typically around $1,600, the GL502VS is a bit more expensive than the Helios 300, roughly 50% more, but it does pack faster hardware and more features. 
The key inclusion here is a fully fledged NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. It's not a Max-Q variant and it's much faster than the GTX 1066GB in our budget pick. Typical performance gains are in the 35-45% to range, though it's not unusual to see an increase that exceeds 50% in heavily GPU limited games. Those performance gains are in line with the price increase over our budget GTX 1060 laptop pick, if slightly lower in the worst case. However, you also get a far superior 1080p 120Hz G-Sync display in the GL502VS to complement the faster GPU, while the same Core i7-7700HQ, 16GB of RAM and 256GB SSD is found inside. This laptop's higher refresh rate display makes a huge difference for gaming and the GTX 1070 can take full advantage. Advantage. When weighing everything up, the GL502VS delivers an excellent price to performance ratio and that's why it's our best bang for your buck pick. The Acer Predator 17 was also considered as it too features similar hardware and a similar price, however it's much larger and significantly heavier than the GL502VS for only a small price saving. Let's say you happen to have a lot of money lying around and you just want the best mobile gaming experience money can offer. Well, for around $4,000, we recommend the Gigabyte Aorus X9DT. It's definitely not the most value conscious option, but it packs pretty much everything you'd want. The processor inside is the fastest mobile chip Intel currently offers, the Core i9-8950HK, and yes, that's a Core i9 processor we're talking about. The GPU is a full NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 with 8GB of GDDR5X, plus you get 32GB of RAM, a variety of SSD options that start at 1TB of NVMe storage. Seriously, if money is no object, you can get two 2TB Samsung 960 Pros in this thing for a mere $6,500. We don't really recommend spending that much on this laptop, but that's because the base model already offers such a complete package. On top of the things I've already mentioned, you'll get a 17.3 inch 1080p display with a 144Hz refresh rate and G-Sync and X-Rite Pantone certification, plus a mechanical keyboard with per-key RGB backlighting and plenty of overclocking headroom. There are a lot of options at the top end of laptop pricing, but we chose the Aorus X9DT for a couple of reasons. It's significantly slimmer and lighter than other Core i9 laptops with the GTX 1080 inside, and not much more expensive in the process. The X9 isn't exactly thin or light itself, but competitors like the MSI GT75 and ASUS ROG G703 are seriously massive. We also feel that more expensive gaming laptops with SLI GTX 1080s or GTX 1070s just aren't worth it. There are a lot of modern games that don't properly support SLI and a laptop with GTX 1080s and SLI can cost upwards of $1,400 more than the Aorus X9 DT. Sure, the X9 costs nearly $4,000 already, but we wouldn't recommend spending the extra money for a second GPU even if you could afford it. Not everyone out there who wants to do some gaming on a laptop is after a gaming laptop specifically. Some people may want the high levels of portability and productivity oriented features you get with an Ultrabook, but also want to do some gaming on the side. The best Ultrabook you can get right now that doubles up as a gaming capable machine is the Microsoft Surface Book 2. The 15-inch variant of the Surface Book 2 is available with a discrete NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1066 GB inside. Most Ultrabooks top out around a GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti with their discrete GPUs, but the Surface Book 2 pushes all the way up to a GTX 1066 GB, which we know is very capable for gaming. On top of that, you get an Intel Core i7-8650U quad-core CPU, 16GB of RAM, at least 256GB of SSD space, and a high-resolution 3240 by 2160 display. And let's not forget all the features the Surface Book 2 provides that gaming laptops don't. The screen detaches from the base and can be used as a large tablet on the go. The display is a touchscreen and supports active stylus input, and the whole package is compact and light considering what you get.
The Surface Book 2 with the GTX 1060 inside does start at $2,499. So those that want a portable laptop primarily for gaming are better off with the MSI G65 we listed earlier. But as far as Ultrabooks go, you won't find a more powerful option for gaming than the Surface Book 2. And just quietly, the 13 inch model of this laptop still comes with a GTX 1050, which is much faster than what you typically find in that form factor and is well worth a look if you don't want to lug around something as large as the 15 inch model. So those are our picks for the best five gaming laptops you can get right now. If you've seen any other great laptop buys recently, let us know in the comments below. Support us on Patreon if you like our work and I'll catch you in the next one.